Ciao ragazzi, Piercarlo Ciacchi here. Today we are flying a, a Falcon 2000. I'm here with Lenny. Hey guys. We are doing a, a quick training flight. So this is a unique opportunity today to see an emergency descent. We're flying a Falcon 2000, that's a private jet. Uh, we have no passengers today. Uh, although the owner wouldn't like to be here today, just he couldn't do it. So why we do emergency descents on a commercial airplane? We need a specific pressure in order for us to breathe and uh, sustain life. So at higher altitudes, that pressure is not enough and the quantity of oxygen uh, follows the same rule. So airplanes are pressurized to keep that going and uh, keep life possible inside the cabin at higher altitudes. But sometimes some abnormal might happen and the pressurization of the cabin might be lost. In that case, there are certain procedures to be done and today we're going to see mainly one which is uh, an emergency descent, which is a maneuver that brings the aircraft from higher altitude to the lowest possible where uh, a, a sufficient pressure in the cabin is uh, re-established to sustain life. I'm a firm believer of the simulator training. Simulator and the books are great. However, you can know all the steps, but then at the end of the day, when you experience it, especially like a maneuver that can be kind of quite an unusual one, unless you're flying uh, aerobatic uh, flying every day, might be very different than uh, uh, the normal flight or the normal, the normal feelings. Even if they work perfectly on the ground or on a simulator, at the end of the day, the feelings and uh, the sensation in flight are definitely different. So it's always an added value if you have the chance to do it. And I try to include that on a yearly basis, let's say, if that's the occasion. So let's say we lose pressurization. There are instrumentation in the airplane that would allow to tell, uh, besides the physical uh, sensation that uh, the crew should be familiar with, that there is a loss of pressurization. There are some actions, as we said, we're only going to go through those that uh, are pertinent to the emergency descent. There are other actions that take care of some of the system of the aircraft and the oxygen, for example, for the passengers. We're not going to see that. One of the first things that we're going to see is that we're going to have to wear, and he's going to only wear so I can talk through it, an oxygen mask first, because we need to guarantee that the crew stays aware and uh, cautious. Uh, after that, we need to make sure that the communication is established between the pilots with the oxygen masks, and then we can start the emergency descent. It's going to be a maneuver that will allow the nose to dive quite a bit compared to normal flights, and we're going to add some bank at the beginning as well, so the, uh, the nose is going to go down quicker without having to be uh, or more a comfortable feeling. All right, so we are going to assume that we had indication of loss pressurization. We are going to do the mask first. So Lenny is going to take the headset off, put oxygen mask on, and then we are going to stop the communication. When that's done, then we're going to start the maneuver. So okay, we had uh, the indication of the aircraft that we have a loss of pressurization. So go ahead. This should be done by both crew members. Let's see if we have established communication. All right, can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you very loud. Put on your uh, uh, headset again and get rid of the microphone and you can hear me. I hear you very loud, just remember that. You still there? I can hear you. Okay. What we're going to do now, since it's very noisy, I don't want to ruin all that, we're going to take the mask off and again back the headset, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Communication established? Yep, I hear you. Okay, one, two, three, very clear. He would have the mask on right now. We are at... Uh, 250 level, 280 knots, or uh, let's say Mach 0.67. The descent would start right after when we put the masks on. Thank you, sir. Uh, descending uh, and maintain 10, 000. That's for uh, 46 Hotel Alpha. Autopilot off. The mask Autopilot will be on. Yeah. Autopilot off. Idle. Speed break Idle. out. Speed break deployed. Yeah. 45 degrees of bank. That's a good measure. And then let the nose come down. Which is a very, very aggressive maneuver for somebody that is not used to this. So that's why it's a useful op opportunity to see something that is quite unusual. So we are like around uh, 15, uh, 17 degrees nose low. The airspeed is coming up, which it should. We are losing about uh, 14,000 feet per minute. Okay, no more than this. Uh, roll the bank back up. And slowly to 200 heavy. So with uh, 15,000 or more feet descending, we are passing 18,000. And be ready to level off at uh, 10,000, okay? The level off won't be very easy. I'll give you the power. Yep. 3002. Uh, 200. So we didn't even go any close to the maximum speed, and we definitely uh, went from 250. We definitely went from uh, 250 level all the way to uh, 10,000 feet in uh, barely more than a minute. That's a good heading. And now you start pull up or uh, uh, 
get ready for your level off at 10,000. And we will be level here. So he worked out very good. Good, uh, good for Lenny. That was the first one on the real airplane for him. And you can see he get to the 20 degrees nose low, and still the airspeed that didn't get to the maximum airspeed allowable, which should be the actual number to see in this situation. So that would be the fastest way to get down, although it would have saved us maybe 20, 30 seconds. Uh, but it's also the first time that we did together as a crew, or he did it. And that's something you can exercise maybe next time. So it's really a maneuver that goes way beyond the normal envelope of a flight that you may imagine. So I'm, until you try, it's not easy in reality to actually match the parameters that you see on the books or on the simulator, which is a very important point of view, in my opinion. I hope you guys enjoy it. we we'll see you next time. Uh, thank you, Lenny. I enjoy the flight and uh, we'll see you for more.